It's time for another Sparkus Opens Mail, and I have to be completely and totally honest about this. I'm actually re-recording this first part because I got a package a while back, recorded it, opened it, you know, did all the commentary and everything, can't remember what I said though, and I cannot find the original video anywhere. So I get to re-record. I haven't actually eaten any of the stuff yet, we're going to use it for Sweet Tooth Thursday videos, of course, which gives you an idea of what we got. But this one comes from England, from Clive Wilson. I actually have forgotten some of the stuff that's in here. Let's see, what do we got? We have strawberry flavored laces. So I guess that would be uh, like licorice. I'll enjoy that. My kids might. Hopefully won't because I like to eat it all myself. No artificial flavors or colors from Tesco. I've never heard of Tesco. Well, I've obviously heard of Tesco the first time I opened this package, but other than that, I don't know Tesco. It looks like there's a lot of Tesco. Oh, there's a note. That's right. Before we continue, let's read the note, which I've also forgotten. Dear Market Family, a little late, but a promised but as promised, some sweets, candy, from the UK. All Natsukashi. How do you say Natsukashi? It brings back memories, I guess. All stuff from his childhood, I guess. Hope you enjoy them and hope to see you all in Japan in the future. Love, Clive Wilson and family. In case you forgot, I commented on your YouTube videos a long while back. Yes, no, I did not forget. That is so cool. Okay, Tesco Flying Saucers. Also no artificial colors or flavors. This kind of looks like um, a Monaka. So I'm really curious to find out what's in there. And... Candyland Dip Dab. I was just talking to another uh, person on, on the, in the comments section. Oh yeah, I was going to play that. Uh, about um, uh, this kind of stuff. Lollipop that you dip into stuff. And I have never had this. I've never seen it in Canada. And she was quite surprised. So that'll be something to uh, look forward to. We've only got one lollipop. How are we going to share all the dipping and dabbing? We'll figure it out. Shrimps and banana. I should have been holding these up to, close to the camera, shouldn't I? Flying saucers, dip dab, and the laces. This is obviously not going exactly the same as the first time, but who cares? So this one is shrimps and bananas. Now I've had banana flavored candies before. These look like kind of a marshmallow -y kind of thing, but the shrimps has got me curious and slightly worried. Shrimp flavored marshmallow -y stuff? I don't know, we'll see. Chew Mints Extreme. What is extreme about it? It is extremely green. Oh, it's sour ag sour apple. Six times extremely sour apple. I'll ha oh, warning, don't bite off more than you can chew. Well, I will have to have one first and see if my kids can handle it. We'll see. That could be fun. That could be a lot of fun. Next, we have Candyland Sherbert Fountain, which sounds like some kind of powder. I have no idea what this is. If you're not 100% happy, pop it in the pack, pop it in the post, telling us where you bought it, and send it back to us. Sherbert with a licorice dip. Oh, there you go. That's what it is. It's Sherbert with a licorice dip. I have no clue. That is going to be fun to get into. A lot of stuff I just don't recognize. This says Dolly Mixtures. Now, how do you get dollies into the candies? I don't know that. Dolly Mixtures. It looks like a soft candy. Also from Tesco. With no artificial flavors or colors. That's fine. That's good. No, 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 store in a cool, dry place and out of direct sunlight. Well, this is Kyushu. It's not necessarily cool or dry. Although it's been, you know, over the over the uh, winter, it's been cool enough. Okay, no problem. Fizzy multicolor belts from Tesco. Looks like another licorice -y, gummy e tight candy. It says gelatin free. No artificial flavors or colors. Has wheat, sugar, glucose, fructose. Who cares? Actually. Oh, cool. Swizzles giant love hearts. With, you know, you got the little messages on the candies, fruit flavor fizzy sweets. Okay, that's not the message on the candy, although it is written on three of the candies on the package, although you're probably not going to be able to read that. Trust me, don't cry, kiss me, my girl, my boy, hold me, be my love, true blue eyes. I should have had brought these out during Valentine's Day. When did this arrive, actually? I'm not sure. Uh, it, it has been a while. It's been here for a while, and I've been meaning to get to it. I was going to start doing Sweet Tooth Thursdays of these items, but I wanted to do the mailbag episode first and I can't find the video and I just you know today I said that's it I give up I am not gonna be able to find the original video so we'll make a new one obviously wow this was sent back in November half a year ago I am so sorry it has taken so long I got another package in the mail this time indirectly from Australia I mean it, 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 it was brought from Australia but it was not sent from Australia it was brought to Tokyo I think and then sent down to me um, Astro Boy with a couple numbers after his name. You look in the comments of almost any of the recent videos, you'll probably find something by him. Or if you look on um, on uh, Facebook, uh, look for uh, Matthew. He sent this, he brought it from uh, Australia and sent it to me from Tokyo because, you know, he and his family come visit Japan once a year. And so, uh, yeah, save yourself some shipping if you're coming to Japan anyway, right? Okay, he's really taped this quite well. You know, that's one of the fun th parts of sending someone something is mummifying the package and tape so that they have a hell of a time unwrapping it. Ugh. I can pretty much see through the package, so I, I know I know generally what this is. I don't know specifically 
what this is. You know, I might as well say it. I'll, I'll make my prediction. It's Tim Tams. I'll, it's coming from Australia. It's Tim Tams. I love Tim Tams. Uh, ooh, but the specific part is the interesting bit. Of course, you know, it could be wrong. It might not be Tim Tams. Look at that. I've never seen that little funky at the edge, but let's see. Oh, ooh. Arnott's Tim Tam Coconut and Lychee. I've never been big on lychee, but, oh, and flavor inspired by Gelato Messina, which I have no idea what that is, but who cares? I, I mean, I don't hate lychee, it's just I find it has, I find it has very little taste, but coconut, I love. And for some reason, that combination just sounds fantastic. Well, there's a video there, obviously. Well, every one of these items is going to be a video, of course. And, oh, another good one. Also inspired by Gelato Messina, which I don't know. Tim Tams, are not Tim Tams, Black Forest. Now that sounds good. And there's no letter in there, just a big pink tube. There you go. See, no letter. So, uh, that is an excellent haul. That's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's, hey, that's a good uh, couple couple months worth of uh, Sweet Tooth Thursday specials there. Um, or Saturdays as well. Gotta intersperse them. Gotta speed up my, my editing. I'm sorry there weren't too many videos last week. But, uh, uh, yeah. Look forward to seeing them because I should look forward to eating them. I'm really hoping my kids don't like this one because, you know, it, it, it looks like licorice to me. And I did have some licorice recently, actually. Uh, a student's um, mother, actually, her uh, one of my students, uh, his sister was on uh, uh, one month uh, homestay in Canada and she was showing me pictures that she'd taken in Canada and one was licorice. And I go, oh, that is so good. And I guess maybe her, uh, they, they'd they been sent some by her and they all went, oh, what? You, really? You like that kind of stuff? I said, yes, I love it so much and I can't get my hands on it ever here. And they had her bring a bag back for me and I managed to make it last about a week and a half. I was I was thinking, you know, one piece a day, make it last as long as possible. Didn't quite manage, but I, I, made, I made it last like 10, 11 days. I, I consider that a bit of an accomplishment, okay? This won't last as long, just by by volume, by by mass, it's, it's there's not as much here. So it's not gonna last as long, but I'm really gonna enjoy that. Gotta get to it. I think some of these are approaching their best before date because I have sat on them so long. Oh, yeah, there's the TARDIS. Yeah, I, I got it. still got that right here, the TARDIS. If you wanna send anything, either for Sweet Tooth Thursday or whatever, patches would be great, like regional patches. I can't get my hands on anywhere else. I am still putting them onto that um, coveralls. Thing, although I haven't for a while, I will get back to that. The, the address is down in the description, and well, I can put it up right here, right now. Well, that's all that needs to be said, except that I gotta restrain myself from eating this stuff. I'm betting my kids won't like this so much. Sour faces can be fun. Maybe I should have the kids sit in front of the uh, camera one by one and try it. That could be fun.